is 30s, right? And then they don't have to use weights if they don't, right? They can just use bench press. So if anybody does have how much? At, uh, like 10, 15, 20. If you have any dumbbells online or anything to even carry, anything, anything. just anything. She's got dumbbells in the workout today. Um, but if not, then just kind of go with the same movement. Or if you guys just know some other uh, movement, you could switch it to a, a push up. You could switch it to a, a push up instead of doing the the dumbbell part. Okay, so we'll. Um, so yeah, so we are doing some presses, some bicep curls bench press so you lay down spider-man scorpion so um just even moving uh in the press movement if you had anything um you can still do all the same movements um doesn't today doesn't have to be a weight we're at the beginning of the year so So actually the online ones, anybody doing that, um, I love that we can see you, Allison. Thank you for that. Looks amazing. So good. So again, you could just copy just even moving your arms and doing that is going to be, um, <laughs> it's going to stack up. And so... Um, but later on, just like a set of, and we can, we might have a set. Overhead, yes. Yeah. Yep, yeah. and then bench on the floor, stay on the floor. Yep. And then Spider-Man. Here we go. Ready, Andy? People may have to mute their phone. Yeah, is anybody's phone on? That one. Is it yours is off? Man, what is that? <laughs> so mean. I'm so mean. I'm sorry. He said he loved us. I said, well, you guys you don't love us. Mm -hmm. I think they love us. They are favorites. <laughs> <laughs> you left us hanging. Just kidding. Left us hanging. Totally kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh man. I'm so I'm mean. I'm sorry. I'm so hard. I just like. I'm even thankful for you. <laughs> it's kind of like that obstacle thing yesterday <laughs> like I love you so much you're an obstacle and you make me better okay we're getting close to the music oh just go back. There's no worries. We're... Oh, it all went off? Signed out and everything? 
Just go, we're fine. Just go to just regular YouTube then. Just don't play Tupac. Like yeah. Sorry, we lost internet here and Yeah, we'll just start that and go. We'll let God be God. We need it all. I am not what happened to me. Good. Ready? Here we go. We're good, Rob. Just any. Close your Just eyes. any of it. Boom, done. I am not what happened to me. I am what I choose. Ooh, that's my truth right there. Uh, <laughs> ready. All right, guys. Okay, ready? ready? Three, two, one, press it. Most people do believe that they are what happened. Most people think that's what <laughs> now, now that example from yesterday, we don't do that right now. Like, do what your body says. <laughs> My body says I'm done. <laughs> Just letting things go, the rock. <sighs> down nice work <laughs> can you see it we're good okay Of 
Oh, it's got my back warmed up. Good, not bad. That was first round. Not bad. That's. I think Joe taking us easy on us on Wednesday. The same Wednesday. The seemed easy, yeah. Maybe we're warmed up from the first workout. I don't know. Stay with breath. Nice work. Solely just doing curls, or are you kind of still in breath? Or how fast once you started doing curls did breath just disappear? Got to watch over that place.
circumstances have shown up in your life, the quality of your life will always and only be a reflection of your state of mind. I'm going to give always the biggest, the biggest credit to you online crew that are staying in the workout. Literally, I've done it. I've been there. It is super tough to do it. So, Brandon, Allison... It is tough to stay in there. G off, we see you in there, Nathaniel. But uh, G off, I'm glad to see that you're alive. I mean, you're online. So uh, Craig was really saying that you were in the middle of it. So, and uh, we he's right there. Yeah, riding the bike. Nice. So nice to see everybody. It's good. Here we go. Nice. Okay. Probably no. Uh, probably won't do. Uh, we can turn that off, but I don't think we're not doing meditation. We're going to get into what we're doing. Get right into that. So. Nice. Good. Way to go. Way to go. Again, the online crew, I'm telling you, I'm just identifying, I want you to know, also been there. Doing that workout by yourself becomes a huge mind battle. Like, it is a place where you're going to struggle. Oh, I don't have to do nothing. Oh, I can take it way more easy. Oh, if I step out of camera, they're not going to see me. Oh, I don't really have to even do any of it. That battle is the one that you want to win it is it is real by getting up out of bed that's already a win and then having the opportunity looking into that and, and being able to to come around and still do that workout and stay in that so whether you're just moving your arms or whatever you're capable of doing I know look, we got Jeff in the boat, so um, kind of difficult for him. But even if it becomes that you're going to sit the whole time on screen, even if you're sitting, I don't care even if you're sitting, but having you there and you being more concerned about breath rather than I'm not going to do the workout. And then stuck up in the ego because I can't do the workout, I'm not going to do anything. Like, you don't even have to worry about doing anything. It's having the opportunity to be ego. Saying, all I'm going to do, all I'm capable of doing, all I'm willing to do is be here 
show up and be here, and all I'm going to do is breathe. That could be a huge win. And once that becomes your normal, okay, I can breathe, and I'm staying in it, and I'm okay breathing. Then the next step, whatever you want, I'm going to raise my left hand up in the air and put it down. Sounds dumb, but it's what you're capable and willing to stay consistent at. If you're not going to stay consistent slamming the workout out, it doesn't matter if you're here for one month and then disappear. You've, you've really accomplished nothing, right? And that's what a lot of people are going to do in January. They're going to show up for one week or one month, and then they'll disappear like it really doesn't work. And it was the consistency over time that will end up working, okay? So, but here we go. Um, I wonder if he's still riding the bike. Uh, Brandon, what's your truth? Uh, I couldn't hear any of the any of the audio. Okay. So I've got um, husbands love your wives. Hmm. I've got my anniversary next week and a date today, so I got some got some prep work to do. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. I love that you remember it. That's awesome. Cool. Uh, Allison. Um, yeah, the same, the audio was kind of low, so just trying to, I forgot about breath for a bit, and I came back to it, um, but I just kind of said, focus on the one who sees. Focus, focus on, on the one, one who, who sees me? Who sees the big picture. I couldn't hear the audio either, but uh, as I was working on my breathing, commitment was the word that just kept popping in my head. Good. Good. And we really, we didn't, we messed up the audio on purpose uh, to make it difficult on you. No, I'm just kidding. It wasn't. <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll work on that and pay attention to that. Thank you. Yeah. It only gets better from here. So. <laughs> Very good. So, um, good. Wahid, do you got one? I don't know if you're still on the bike. And then we'll come back to him if, if we're able. Gio. Jeff, what you got? You got uh, you got the on mute, buddy. I just woke up. I need coffee. <laughs> I need coffee. Sean? Advances. Yep, advances. Impediment to action advances action. Impediment? Yeah. Yeah. Advances, action. Mm 
I don't think Sean's mic's on. The impediment to action advances the action. Thank you, Jeff. Um, Running tech from Holiday is his name. Holiday. Um, Yeah. Holiday. Doc Holiday. He's the one that put that book together of all the of all the stoic. Doc Holiday. Doc Holiday is just. And then also the Doc Holiday that I'm just up there. (laughs) Same. Uh, <laughs> Joe, what you got? I don't know if this is right, but your reality is what you make it. Yeah. Who's uh... My truth was you are one decision away from a different direction in your life. One decision away from a direction? One decision away from a different direction in your life. Polly? Good morning. Hey, good morning. I got mine driving here at the red light right there. As I was coming up to it, just, it just hit me. Perseverance. Yeah, Rob. I am not in control. I don't need to be. Craig? Intentional mindset chases away the small. Chases away the small. So, you know, background on that. You know, a long time ago, well, not a long time ago, a couple years ago, I was listening to a gentleman speak, and he was like, you know, don't let the sloth win the day. You know, and that kind of resonated with, you know, like the sloth is kind of slow and moving, you know, so like anytime I'm really being a bum or whatever, I'm like, you know what, I'm letting this sloth win right now. So, you know, I need to get up and get moving and do something productive, you know. Yeah, uh, I couldn't hear the music very well today, but uh, uh, no, am I? No, I couldn't really key in on the music to be honest. Uh, uh-huh. I can't hear. Okay, um, but uh, actually, one I had did have a truth from yesterday. Actually, a couple. I was listening to uh, uh, the Theo Vaughn podcast, and Tony Robbins was on there, and um, I tried to share it with Sean yesterday, but uh, he wasn't having it. So I'm kind of glad that I. Uh, he didn't let me, ha- he didn't, so I could share it today. Um, but uh, don't change the rules, change the ruler.
There was there was more to it, but I think that's good enough. Got it. Wahid, are you still there? You got? Yes. Is that what he said? What? Huh? Oh, he said, good. Let go, let go and embrace, embrace peace. Hmm. So insanity is doing the same thing over and over and then expecting a different result. Like a thing? Yeah. So just a little bit. So I I did like the setup of the beginning of the year, same as last year. I want to use that to our benefit because it's almost like everybody's been trained to start over at the beginning of the year. But what we're stepping into, especially like the next 12 weeks, is to do it in a different way than what it is. Most people every single year step into a change or a challenge. They step into a challenge every year. And year after year after year, they're doing the exact same thing over every year and expecting a different result. And they start with a high level of motivation. And it's a challenge that they step into and that challenge they end up failing. Whatever it is. One weekend, one month in. Usually, almost everybody's done by one month. Very few are even in three months. Several from here stayed the whole year. And so um, having and living a life of purpose with intention, having goals, all those things makes a huge difference. But we're stepping into it in a different way. And so I just want you to know we step more into not challenges. We can still use the word at different times, whatever, but I don't end up nowadays in, I don't step into a challenge. I step into a covenant. And so that will be a long deal that we will start later on, but we'll get up there. But that's what the depths of this is. Every single year, stepping into some type of intensity, something that we've always done, some type of challenge over and over, expecting some kind of different result. But all of it, again, is just another putting stuff on our plate that I'm going to accomplish and never really set in a covenant with God in what that, in what that looks like. And so um, we're going to get different results. Okay. Cool. Um, so I'll ask, we're going to go over some stuff just a little bit. Um, so Michael and Allison um, really is the ones like they are, if you guys start imagining, picturing, like when somebody sends out some warriors into battle, uh, they pick these ones. And I see, I believe we've all seen um, a huge amount of heart in Michael and a huge heart in Allison. And it's almost this place where these are our warriors that we're, sponsoring as a community but it's beautiful because we get to see them step in with all all of their intention all of every part of them into this new year and i believe that's going to encourage us to encourage them which they will encourage us and it will be a huge growth factor that we get to embrace them but it's going to be amazing watching them grow and if you if something reaches your heart from watching <laughs> their growth, then we have the opportunity as well to bring those things into our life. And so just by um, them being willing to go to uh, um, a life coach is amazing. So they're here every single day doing the stuff with us in which it gets very intense. And we're in this awareness of it every single day. 
but then they also get to step outside of this circle. They get to talk about that a little bit, but then at the same time, somebody speaks life into that. Hey, what about implementing this into your life? What about this? And so then they get to bring that wisdom and that life and all of that into here and then practice and integrate that even more. So a bunch going on all within their life right now. So I wanted to kind of ask them to share at least just a little bit of, of where they're at in the beginning parts. And then um, we'll go through just uh, some of the other stuff. So whoever raises their hand first gets to go first. Ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's uh, okay. Listen, I mean, I'll go first if we, you're not ready. You good, Allison? You want to go? You ready? Guess I'll go. I already cool. unmuted. It takes forever. Um, so. And really, um, what I'm trying to do, sorry, I know, like, we're going to try to stick with like the goals or the intentions, that kind of part that you guys have went over, kind of things that you're getting rid of, things that you're implementing, all of those things, right in that line, okay? Um, I was kind of reminded of it, like yesterday, Rob to say like, remember your why. Uh, so like, why am I doing all this? And um, it started with my daughter to be, a better example for her as she got baptized and started her Christian walk. Um, so Steve, our life coach, uh, kind of challenged us with three things to like think about. And um, so he was like, what are three dangers or challenges do I want to eliminate or minimize this year? Um, the second thing was like, what are three opportunities that I want to try to capture? And then what are three strengths do I want to maximize? And I just kind of been going over pulling from what we've been doing and chasing alignment, specifically when we did the fire and some of the things I wanted to let go this year. And I just kind of try to build that list. But one big thing is relationships for me. Uh, I don't like people. And so it's hard for me to like press in and get real and, and and stay connected. And within that, like trying not to be the lone wolf. Um, and a lot of other things that fall into it, but just trying to think, just things I want to minimize, opportunities I want to grab, and strengths that I want. Good. So it was eliminate three things you want to eliminate. What else was it? Uh, three opportunities I want to capture. And then three strengths that I want to maximize. Good. You got, um, did you, were you able to define each one of those? Would you want to share at least one of each of those that we can kind of ask you about later on and how you're doing on it and encourage those things? What do you got? Like three things to eliminate. You just have, you can just say one if you want to share it. Um, so one of the things uh, was anger and frustration. Like I feel like I gravitate easily to um, just lose patience, especially with my daughter. Um, and then just uh, my thought life that was another one. Uh, I haven't quite figured out a third. Um, some different opportunities, um, relationships, uh, like I was talking about maintaining and cultivating those relationships, uh, trying to press in instead of run away when I start feeling things get intense. Um, and then my relationship with my family and then that as a as a parent, like what am I, you know, how am I growing as a parent? And then my strengths, um, 
Right now I'm focusing on consistency um, and trying to figure out where to go um, with my teaching and even like music opportunities, et cetera. Good. So the thing to capture, I, I kind of miss it. Was that the relationships in that one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So really kind of three things to eliminate really like that thought life was one of them. Three things to capture really the relationships was one of those three strengths to maximize. You're looking at consistency. Yes. At least one of those beautiful. Um, Joe, yeah, to like Joe, kind of mic, watch I can over. Hear you. Yeah. Yeah. She's just kind of watching over the thought life, but the elimination, what she was kind of talking about, maybe identifying or eliminating kind of the anger part and then the, the frustration. Um, it's good. <clears throat> okay. Anything else, Allison, that you can just kind of think of that you kind of, that was maybe an epiphany, a uh, little bit of enlightenment that you weren't expecting just from putting in the, the work that it takes? It takes a lot more work than just two minutes of, of, <laughs> of what you just said, right? So. Um, with the consistency, just like even when I fail or those disappointments or, you know, times where it feels like it's not working, like try to bounce back from that and just like renew, like every day is a new opportunity. So I grow in that. Anybody else feel like that right there? Sometimes it feels like it's not working. That's mm -hmm. a huge realization to kind of just look at that as one of those obstacles, like Sean's talking about, like the impediment to action, the difficulty, the obstacle, like seeing that part, but then still staying in it, that consistency. I think we all feel that, right? Yeah. I just want to speak it's on It's not that. working. Sure. Even those, uh, like really quick, just backtracking a little bit, like uh, Raylan had mentioned about those two minutes, like the consistency of things, right? How much work went into those two minutes? That instantly took me to, uh, I was hearing uh, about Steph Curry, uh, the best three-pointer in history now in the NBA, but shoots, I think it's like 500 practice shots a day. So just the consistency in that, just to be able to have 3,000, I don't know, 3,000 and some change, three made uh, three pointers made in the NBA. You're talking about millions of shots made in his career, just to say, it, just to have these 3,000. So just speaking on that consistency on it, just for, and going back, um, uh, right when Allison said, uh, when it's not working, that instantly just took me right back to uh, remember your why. When it's not working, every day is a new opportunity. So just kind of backtracking to those things. Um, keeping those in mind and just the consistency of finding those things in everything. Yeah. I feel like I got to hit that one more time before we go on to Michael as well. It's huge. We listen to the truths in the music, you know, and, and very intentional and, and, and in a way kind of just take those Oh, praise the Lord, I got something to at least say on this piece of paper so that we get all those things. But again, if the work that has to be done for, for Allison to even give us two minutes, and then it's so much, it's easy. Okay, thanks, Allison. I'm going to work on my thought life, too, and relationships. Like, it's like it's easy to take off of that part. But for to dig in and find out what are my goals, my goals. What is my desire? What are the things that God has for me? What are those visions that he's given me? And so to do the work and put this in and say, okay, this is coming up in my consciousness that I want to work on my anger, these things, my relationships, digging into not just what the relationship is, but to the depth of like, okay, I'm going to work on relationships, but that's huge. 
Lord, what are you really trying to work on in my life? What is the depth of the relationship that I want? I'm sick of these superficial high five handshake deals. What is the depth of the relationship that you're willing that you want me to experience? And what does that look like? And what do, what do I look like in that relationship? Right? And having those opportunities. So there's a depth there of putting in the work of digging in courageously going into that place instead of it would be very easy to go thank you very much this is all mine now okay <laughs> that's cool it's good but there is i want us to know that there is another depth there that we can explore in our own soul and see what that means to us cool so thank you allison like that is a lot to chew on a lot Good. Michael? Oh, man. What do we got? Have we? I don't know. It's the elimination opportunities and maximize. I want to say, looking back, reflecting just now, my whole life, there was no consistency in it. This group has been my consistency. Like, I've longed for, you know, an outside source of friends, you know. I have other friends. We might hang out, go grab a beer or something. But there's no consistency in that. You know, no, I guess no true pleasure out of it, you know. And since, you know, Sean found me that day. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. So, it feels good coming here. Just waking up in the morning. Every day, it feels even better and better than the last, you know. You know, I run late. That's just... Working on that. That's a little bit of consistency I need to work on, but I'm here. You know? And um, thank you. Thank you all for being yeah, here. Thank you, Michael. Um, and through that, I'll have perseverance back to my truth. You know, you persevere at the end of the day. And just I long to have a group like this, you know, just a group of people just working on selves you know and then outside of this we all you know hang out go to events do this do that it's just fun times you know yeah you know something good but get into my three things or i have a couple more than three things that he asked me for to eliminate you know one of them was the smoking and drinking you know smoke cigarettes or, or vape just a nasty habit um drinking it's a lot easier to stop drinking than I thought it would be. A lot. Hmm. Just, and um, I don't think drinking was uh, on occasion, you know, have a wine for dinner, you know, go out to get something to eat, have a you know, beer, with, beer with some friends. I'm not talking, I'm talking about the heavy drinking. You know, let's party Friday night. No, I don't want to do that. Don't want to do that no more. Just creates a worse deal the next day. But the smoking, I wanted to stop. And uh, that's been a real struggle for me. The stressors in my life and everything. It's been a real struggle. Get into more of that later. But um, my other one was question my, questioning myself. I want to eliminate that. Constantly question myself. I know the right answers. I do. But I question myself. You know? Wow. It's just like part of not taking charge, taking control of my own actions, you know, when it comes to work life or family life, you know, like, am I making the right decision? Because I don't, I don't want to fail. I don't want to fail. It's like the worst thing, feeling in the world, I don't want to fail. But I know I'm doing good. Look what I have, you know. And um, me too, Allison. I speak out when I'm mad. I do. I just... I want to get that last word in, you know, it's like, how do I, and someone makes me mad. I want to just like try to defend myself. So I'm speaking out. I don't want to do that. I don't want it at all. It's uh, it's annoying and it just take, it's more back and forth communication. So if someone says something to you, you say something back and then just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then at the end of it, I know it explodes. 
explodes. It's like that firework that you shoot up in the sky, one big explosion, and it pops up in a whole bunch of little ones. It's just, yeah, it's not worth it. Um, one of my big things I want to eliminate in my life is uh, my ever so, you know, looming verge of divorce. And uh, it's one thing I want to eliminate. I haven't quite understood what that means, but it's, I wrote it down and I know I don't want to, I want to eliminate it, eliminate it, like not go through the divorce or go through divorce and get it done with, you know, it's a double-edged sword. And that leads me into my three opportunities to capture. Divorce was one of them, you know, it's an opportunity for me to grow, to learn, to know myself, you know. And it, again, it's a double-edged sword. You know. Could it be good? Yeah. You know, it's, it's working on myself. I'm working on myself. I came here with friends I found. Another opportunity I wanted to capture is my new job. I'm working now in uh, budgeting in um, St. Augustine. I'm traveling there. So by the 28th of this month, we're going out there for quite some time. But I actually, after talking with them, they want me here on Camp Landing. So they, uh, I'm gonna work hard, grind out, grind it out at first, and the faster I get it, the faster I get over here at Camp Landing, the faster I just actually get to be here more in person. Yeah, because uh, that's uh, that's what I like. Um, working out home with other, uh, with my kids, you know, opportunity to capture. As my children get old, I got three boys. It's just, you know, my oldest wants to play baseball. Just getting home, just doing small workout. I have a small, that's just an opportunity. And within that is just get to know what my kids are, what they are, who they are. You know, they all have three different personalities. And um, another opportunity I love to capture is Warrior's Peace. Being involved more. Just, just being involved. Anything you guys do outside of this and everything, you know, just it's it's all part of Warriors Peace. You know, we take it we take it home with us. I know at least I do. Um getting into my strengths I want to maximize. I'm good with logistics. I could put a convoy request together. Those of you who don't know what a convoy request, it's a uh it's a whole bunch of vehicle train, you know, a whole bunch of vehicles together and everybody moves out, you know, to a certain direction at a certain speed and everything. But um, more than just logistics is putting that all together, you know, whether it be food, some place to stay, you know, or um, just putting together groups, events and everything. And it's all logistics. I'm good with that. You know, the military has made me into that and I like it because it brings me into another opportunity I want to capture working with others. I'm good with that. I'm very outgoing, you know. I want to talk to you. It's like, "Hey, what's going on?" And um with that brings me to what I said the other day. I had another um Apostle Polly moment. I was talking with uh my friends over the weekend just, you know, speaking some good knowledge, some morals to them and everything. It's like, "What what is it about you that fits?" You know, so working with others I like, but outside of just, you know, what I'm forced to do in the military. My last strength I wanted to maximize is working, working with my hands, building stuff. I used to build houses as a kid with my dad, you know, a couple million dollar houses. You know, there's nothing, I don't think anything less was, we were building less than $2 million houses. You know, my dad was pretty big up in New York, uh, Poughkeepsie area, Poughkeepsie Falling, Westchester high-end neighborhoods um, but it was all the way from rough framing to you know finished work but I'm talking about working with my hands is just you know building a small garage on the side of someone's house you know or just building a birdhouse I'm, I'm good with that you know just the imagination run wild 
that's what uh steve has got me to do and into this next month i'll be working on um what's working three things each for each point is uh what's working well for each one of these things what i learn from each one of these things as i'm working in and what improvements can i improve on on each one of these things so you know day by day i'm you know thinking about each one what i'm and what i'm doing with each one everybody get that keeping it up in front of my mind everybody get that what were those what's working well what i learned what improvements you know, and that i think it's just as we think everything you know our daily you know our daily lives and it doesn't have to be the things i listed you know it could be just a checklist we're working off but are we working well what we have learned and what improvements do i have yeah so awesome that's what we will be working on nice work it's good stuff both of you that uh, takes intention. So that's stuff like we've been for the past three months talking about this stuff, setting what are your goals for the past three months? What has been the intention? What are those, right? And really stepping into this. This is just one way to really start wading through all that stuff. That's acknowledging the part. Well, brother, I'm just working on all this stuff. <laughs> what are you working on? Uh, all this, just all of it, every part of it. But I mean, I can't, just a lot of things. I can't name one of them. I really don't know the depths of what I would even say that I'm working on in all of it. This is just a beginning to putting it from what is in your heart that God is calling you to more. He's calling you off the pew. He's calling you off the couch. He's calling you to be intentional. What does that start looking like to put that from here, put it out into the world, put that down on paper, acknowledge what it is, make a choice that you're going to do these things, not just randomly <laughs> pinging through the day and then ending up at the end of the day going, man, well, <laughs> it just happened, <laughs> okay? And watch how fast the last year went. How fast, right? Yeah. It, I don't it even will, remember it last will happen. Year. It will happen all over again. Okay? So I encourage you, all of those things that they just talked about, we will talk about again. And so um, hopefully we're going to start going uh, around. Who has... Um, so, like, this is, I'll try to keep it. it. It has to, for it to stay and be a part of my life, it has to be simple. And so, you could go into a whole thing of what goals are and intentions, declaration statements, and character. This, for me, has been the most simple for me to kind of bring into my life and do these things this way. So goals, Rob, can you just read off kind of? The aim, the aim or object towards which an endeavor is directed. What do you think? I mean, it's pretty spot on definition, I feel. But I mean, I feel like looking at those all together, right? Can you have, I mean, yeah, you can. You can have a goal, but, you know, how how far is that going to go without an intention? How far is that going to go without a plan? So I think those kind of stack upon each other. The declaration statement, you start coming into, you know, what you know to 100% to be true. Cool. So we got the goals. Let's do read the Rob, please read the intention then. Intention idea that you can that you plan or intend to carry out. Good. And then declaration statement. A written statement that you swear under penalty of perjury is the truth. 
And then what are we defining as character? What God says about us. Good. Okay. Really, every single day, my purpose is, I could go into the depths of that as well, but my character is to build, or my purpose is to build my character every day. I want, uh, and that is what God says about me. You can start going into the whole fruits of the spirit and all of those things is the basis of what I want that to be. Gives me like the knowledge or the understanding to understand, oh, these are the words that I'm supposed to be in line with. But really it's what God says about me. And if somebody was to compare my actions, is that, kind of, is that where I am? Okay, but let's go back up to goals. Goals. So do we put a time? Okay. Right, like a goal. Yep. So it's as good as, you know, I mean, I guess I've always thought, you know, dream, what's a dream? A dream is a goal without a time. You know, so are we putting, so I'm like saying like this year. You know, good. What am I doing this year? Good. You know, and then I'm trying to keep that, that simple, you know, like, like three things that I'm trying to do. Yep. So what are your three things? <laughs> so to be, you know, to be more in control, to, to focus on, you know, mind, body, emotion, you know, that would probably be the first, that would probably be the biggest hurdle. Because um, I think that incorporates a lot of, the struggle that I deal with, with, with food or, you know, or, or porn or, or, you know, whatever's dragging me down. I think those three kind of tie into both of those. Um, you know, my, my, my other choice is I, I at least want to, you know, on a professional level, not a personal level, but I want to close at least three or four deals this year, so that's kind of like my uh, my drive in that. Um, you know, really, I guess the last is probably truthfully my first, and that is to walk more with what's in line with, you know, your character, right? I think it kind of all falls into place with, with character. You know, but I'm really, really, really trying to practice being aware. You know, and that's, that's a struggle that I'm going to have to cut off. I, it's really yep. rear, it reared its head yesterday. You know, and that's kind of like each day when I jot down, I write down, okay, how was yesterday? You know, I see here today, how am I judging yesterday? And so yesterday I had, you know, yesterday was a struggle, you know, with, with food, you know, and then just, um, you know, social media drags drags me in. I need to I need to put that away a little bit. You know, and just try and keep it simple. You know, so exactly. So this video has been in my awareness <clears throat> for the last few days, and I keep replaying parts of it. And it is the it is actually the video that you did send. That's what I fit back on for some reason. It came back full circle. You can't do anything without being intentional. I've realized that about myself. Nothing will get accomplished. Can you speak more into the mic, please? Yep. Nothing will get in accomplished unless I've set out to do it. Yep. I can do things on accident. I can play the waiting game and eventually fish and catch the whale. Or I can be targeted in my approach. And it's not an angst thing. It's not some sort of spin it up and pre press the skinny pedal harder. The video that Ray sent you know, on November 17th, by the way, is a Joe Dispenza. The meat is in it. And he speaks about setting off on a daily intention, which will end up being your life's meaning. 
I'm not perfect at it. The, per, the perfection is the, not the goal. <clears throat> the intention is the goal. Right. So yeah. let's go. Yep. Yep. Sorry. Nope. So let's go back. Like, <clears throat> I myself, I'm just letting you know, I got to keep it very simple. So goals for myself when I start seeing what, like, I live in this world. What am I? In this world, what am I trying to accomplish? What is, what is that I'm trying to accomplish? So as long as I can see that I am trying to have a goal of getting something somewhere, I want this to be accomplished, my intention is that part of almost the vision for me, the plan for me of what it looks like, like the, the vision of where it's not all the way going this way and it's not going that way. He gives me a bit, this is what it looks like to be in this. And I can start setting those, those goals and intentions. A goal for my body is this. My intention to get there is this. My mind, my goal for my mind is this. My intention is this. My, my goal for my emotions is this. My intention is this. And that intention is the road that he's giving me that I know is what it is. My goal is to uh, be physically fit and show up here every single day in a healthy way, not trying to crush my body because it's getting old, but I just want to be consistent in it, a little bit of lifting heavier. My intention in that is I'm going to be breathing in that road in that place, during different workout parts, I'm gonna push harder than I will in others. Other, other, some of it's gonna be muscular, some of it's gonna be cardiovascular, some of it's just gonna be breathing. Like, I see what that road is, so when I go, oh, I'm supposed to be breathing during the chase and alignment one, and somehow I find myself inside my mind doing something, else. oh, well, where'd my breath go? I know what the intention was, so I gently bring my, my, my awareness and everything, compassionately, I bring it back to the intention that I had already set, the choice in which it already is supposed to be that I was outlined of, outside of. Declaration statement, really setting a declaration statement, like if I'm sitting here in this moment, I'm writing something down, this is powerful, this is what... This is my truth. This is where I'm, this is the foundation that I'm living on. This is what it is. And all of those will pair and build. I want it to be building my character with inside of that. I don't want to have to go back and ask for my character back. Okay. That is all of those over a period of consistent time. My character will be getting built. What God says about me we be, we be, will be getting even exposed. There will be moments where I'm squeezed, and what comes out all of a sudden is not who I used to be, but like who God has transformed me into now. Not because I had, oh, I'm going to think through this and choose. It was like squeeze, boom, he came out, and I go, that was three months <laughs> That was three years of change right there, right? There's depth there that has changed over time. And so, again, the goal part, does that make a little more sense? This is the overall goal that I'm trying to reach. There's a path that he's telling me this is the path in which you're supposed to be on, and I'm going to choose that it's going to be there. Declaration statement, man, I'm going to be saying that thing every single morning. This is my truth. This is my truth. This is, I can even feel it inside my body. Yeah, there's no way you're taking that away from me. I know it's mine. Well, you do, I don't know, you think? No, I know, I know. And then once I know, I don't have to keep trying to be, tell myself that's, I just operate from that place. Okay, and that's the part over and over and over and over. This is, this is just a little bit of the foundation of what is going to help us set all these things up to where we can operate from a healthy place instead of just going, man, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to just step into a challenge. And I don't know why year after year after year I end up walking away from it. Okay? Hey, can I ask you a question about that? Yep. Um, how
how long before you set out to this endeavor to get straight in your heart and your mind did it start clicking like this Things like this can make a difference in the moment. Like right now, I can experience it automatically. Like the Lord can help and I can have that experience and tapped in and it feels amazing. Things are different. But for things like this to take effect and change, in my experience, takes over six months to a year to three years to four years before I absolutely inside my being has absolutely changed it can happen in a moment we experience that i've noticed but the long haul is where the actual true change in being happens as well i've noticed that when you talk about squeeze mm -hmm. um not to gloat but definitely have changed like the pressures will come and the way i respond now is not my huge and um but it doesn't like <clears throat> there's no I, there's no like switch there's no auditory you know bell going off like oh this is it it's just kind of like whoa that was a different way to react I've n i didn't i'm not even thinking about it all of a sudden i realized in after action review that i've changed i can't put my finger on it a lot of times but i just know it's different a different character a different person Good. But it's not like it's clicking yet, you know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, that Joe Dispenza video that I keep referring to, he talks about being in your heart. Like he said, I, my, my, his endeavor, I would say, if you were to be here, would be to never leave his heart. To never need, leave, this, leave this place of perfect peace and willingness to be in a moment at the cost of pretty much all your other distractions. And I'll find myself still in a, a distraction and then go, oh my Lord, like you just said, like, whoa, you know, it's been a while. Like I haven't thought about you, uh, me, I haven't thought about my heart for a whole day or an entire conversation or whatever. And gently coming back and going not being hard on myself and well what an idiot that's a new thing too like oh man like it's not bad to get sidetracked like it's not it's just not worth it and you realize that when you come back and you talk to yourself in your heart and you go oh man like imagine in a year from now how well we'll be in our heart and how many things we'll be able to use our heart to decipher and be available in that moment for as opposed to where you're at right now. And just let that, uh, to me, that's getting, uh, getting me a little bit more excited about what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Like, imagine, fast forward a year from now, how I'm responding to things and how others are encouraged by me. Like, Paulie thinking that I found him at church, that's not even close. I, it, I love it, sounds cool, but it's not real. The reality is, is that I'm just trying to be in my heart. And I have no idea what I'm doing yet, you know, really. I'm just trying to listen, you know, and learn from that. I can't imagine what's going to be coming in this year, man. I mean, like, it really gets me pumped. I mean, I'm not showing it. My face doesn't show it. But inside, I'm like, whoa. It's pretty cool. It's good. What do you think, Rob? It is good. My dad's always told me. He said, uh, "Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> Keep it simple, stupid. I think we complicate it. So many issues and scenarios, we just complicate mm -hmm. when it's just like right when you say it's like, what's the simple? What, what's your simple goal? You know? Having all these extra goals added to your goal and like." Keep it simple. Nathaniel, I saw you there. You just went. What you got? I know you're getting ready for work as well, too. What you got before we close out? 
Oh, you're on mute. You're on mute. It's good, man. He like he starts looking like Craig too, man. All dressed up. Fan yeah. Fancy. Far left. Don't worry, bro. That's the same. I just need one more pandemic, and I yeah. will be on spot with the Zoom stuff. Yeah. <laughs> just do just do sign language, Nathaniel. <laughs> that, uh, uh, bottom. Bottom left, Nathaniel. Bottom left. Oh, I wonder. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh, he doesn't know. He didn't have his phone in for it. No, he has his phone. I, I mean, I can tell you this. You know, as I sat at my desk yesterday. You know. All right, can you hear me? Yeah, there we go. There yeah, we go. There we go. Craig is now. going to save the day too. What you got? Uh, I don't. I don't. What am I supposed to have? I don't know. Just whatever's on your <laughs> whatever's heart. Whatever's right. What? Uh, what? What you think and what you feel, man? Just uh, want, to, want to check in. It's in. It's inspiring listening to Polly and Allison talk. Um, I hope to be there one day. Yeah, I think so too, man. Yeah, capture Very that. inspiring the work that they put in. Capture yes. that for sure. Yeah. Very cool. Craig, what you got? Craig F. Oh, which one? <laughs> yep, F. F, F. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just going to say, you know, I spent a good portion of my day, probably 60% of my day yesterday working, but in my mind, I was like, I am not the speeder. Am I the speeder? Mm -hmm. I am not the speeder. Am I my coffee cup? And then that really led into like some deep stuff. And I even texted Raylan. I'm like, dude, you got me all jacked up. <laughs> 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 all day long. <laughs> yeah. We got to have another conversation on this. It's, uh, it's hilarious that you say that, man, because I did the same all thing day. yesterday <laughs> all day long. I, I, my brain felt like I was in a dang 20-way ping pong match. Just crap going <laughs> everywhere thinking about it. Yeah. Were you your thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> but that's even, Rob, can you just touch on that real quick as well? Because Rob, Rob, I know, was putting in some work too. Uh, very courageously, I, I believe. I wish I would have got to talk to you guys as well. Into the mic, Rob. it takes a lot to start looking at something a little bit different that we're not used to we're just used to operating i am in a peculiar place where it's it's a weird dynamic i'm almost <coughs> hypocritical because as much as i want to be purposeful and intentional and not do things in vain uh, and I, I can be very judgmental of everything around. Is it, is it worth it? Is it purposeful? Is it line up with, with some sort of end goal? But then I look at what Polly and Allison just talked about and taking that time to inventory and write down and be specific goal set, write it down and do that work and then kind of, uh, chart it and work towards it and see it and come back to it. That is going to get that get reach the goal quicker than just wanting to be intentional and wanting to be in the right and all that stuff so i i did some things outside the box but um and they are good but what i've found at the end of it is, is god just wants intimacy you know he wants to have a relationship with us and it's like something that stopped me this morning and just trying to get here was like how do we connect with God? And also, how does he connect with us? And it's going to take take some time to to, to ask you all, like, oh, I, this is how I connect with God. And this is how he connects with us. Well, what, you know, our actions are different than our intentions, you know. So I can intend all I want. The truth is, is what am I doing? And, and what is he doing? And so, like, how do I connect with God? And how does he how does he connect with me? 
or how does he want to connect with me and how do I want to connect with God because I'm not doing it and he's not doing it. So it's important. So I am in the process of this 12 weeks is specific to me. I'm just trying to not be controlling. I'm trying to be surrendered. I'm trying to be open to the end goal of connecting to God and him connecting to me, but also being like goals, intentions, declaration, statement, character. Like I didn't even bring a journal. Like, where's my journal? <laughs> like kind of makes me mad. So I do write on my phone and I write on the WhatsApp for all the truths, but journaling and reflecting are not new to me and I kind of uh, need to get back to it. So that's where I'm at. Yeah. Rob, thank you for that transparency, man. Yeah. Thank God for those tell you nudges, right? some, some real work, man. And it encourages me to study the fight. Like, I feel like I'm getting to a place and I, I do need to get more going, but where I can get complacent, like I'm starting to see real fruit and I'm starting to see some real like trajectory and propulsion, momentum or whatever you want to call that. And in that place, I can kind of like just in my mind only, it's not good. Like, oh, well, let's just turn it up. And so I want more of that reality that I see that you guys are putting in, you and Allison, I see you putting in real intention and real effort. And it, it's humbling and it's good. And then hearing you saying the same thing, like, where's my journal? You know, like we can always not tighten it up in our mind, but be character. And it's just beautiful to watch this, man. Just in So really start setting if it if it does align with your heart i'm not going to be checking it like homework but we will start and you'll notice like they're already studying their stuff and this we will come back to again and we will talk about goals and intentions and those things we will encourage the group as a whole and see where we're at um i know people are stepping into those things so. hey guys can we can we can, like watch that video what and you, the first this chapter there's a lot of chapters in that Joe Dispenza. We're gonna get there. We're gonna that's why I sent it out. We're gonna get to that video. You only sent it to one file. It's because it's in the group of what we're doing in the twelve weeks. We've got a lot to, a lot to go. It's so good. Yeah. Pretty cool. Love you guys. Okay, pray it up. Okay. Father, thank you. Thank you, Father, for your new mercies this morning. Thank you for the intention of your heart. Thank you for your plans. Thank you for all your thoughts and your goals that you have for us. Help us to tap deep into the heart of our creator. Today, let us live in that place. Give us the grace to see supernaturally how you see and what you see. In your holy son's name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Woo! <laughs> Two claps and a Rick Flair. So, again, goals, intentions, declaration, statements, and that's based off of what we learn here, body, mind, emotions, spiritual, relational. You can set the goals for each, intention for each. Love you.